Hey, we're back. We're running around this stupid ass dungeon. Look at this shit. Look at me go. Yay! Oh With wait, there's an item over there. Cutouts, and rocks, and I know. As we were discussing in the last episode, you know, this they look, they look cool, don't they? Like there are things in the dungeon, in the environment that look really neat. Like yeah. taking the time to make the bushes look like bushes from one side actually look like bushes from one side, but from the other side you realize they're just like cardboard stand-ups. But you don't, you spend so much time in battle that you don't actually get the chance to look and appreciate that. Yeah. And I, I don't... Killing these Murakas. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I understand it is a Wii U game and stuff. Uh, I'm really looking forward to... The new, what, what should I call it? The new Nintendo console. The NX. As it is known. The Nix. The Nix. 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 <laughs> I'm, uh, yay, there's a new side story for Subasa. I'm really hoping, like, honestly, I really, really, truly hope that it is a cartridge-based system. Because that would be awesome. Because cartridges could do so much more. Especially with today's technology. Than a disc. And then he stares intently at what I assume is the script in the back of his shield. He's reading his script. And we go over here and we can bust this open. As a fucking shortcut! Boom! Shortcuts. What's over here? I would have liked to have seen more pop idols with more pop idolness. No, with more Fire Emblem characters. Oh, oh, more Fire Emblem characters. Okay. So I think these are the knights. I think these may be the slow pokes. Hopefully they are. Did I? Boom! Ad lib performance. Yeah, she changes clothes, sings a beautiful song, and hits them all with an icy tornado of death. Right. For the kids <laughs> out there, next time someone picks a fight with you, say, give me a minute, run to the changing room, pull Ch out your, your spare set of clothes, put them on, run out, Start singing, and then hit him with some Arctic Wind. And then... That's all you gotta do. Or... Say, wait a minute. It's a fighting move. Yeah, it's it's a fighting move. Or, my favorite, my personal favorite. This, this is the best one. This is the best life advice you'll ever get. Say, wait a minute. Run, run back. Get your change of clothes. Change into that change of clothes. Come back. All right, and then kick them in the nuts and run away again. <laughs> Even better, get wrist control. <laughs> <laughs> wrist control. Get wrist control. Then pull, pull out your gun. gun. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, this is this is the best advice. Make sure you gain wrist control, and then once you have wrist control, pull out your gun. That that is a that is a fighting move. <laughs> This is the best move in judo you will ever learn. <laughs> judo. judo, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, then. <laughs> Never trusting your word again. Uh, jokes on you. You trusted my word to begin with. You want to get stabbed? This is how you get stabbed. Yep. Hey, go ahead. Try to stab me. Because that's how you get shot. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> right, so... Let's give... You know what? For this whole episode, let's give more amazing advice. Um, Alright, so... More, um, more, more self-defense advice. This is the best right here. Okay, so... 
when someone comes at you with Here's when what? someone comes at you with a banana, the best thing to do is to shoot them in the chest. Here's some self-defense advice I learned from playing Smash Brothers is Kirby. If someone comes at you, just put them in your mouth, jump off the edge, and spit them out. <laughs> jump back up. Don't worry, you got this. I learned that same <laughs> move from a hooker. Whoa! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Why is she teaching you this? <laughs> Why are you wanting to learn this from a hooker? Uh, I have better questions <laughs> than you do. Uh, I'm never asking advice from you in the life situations you put yourself in. <laughs> I am done with this advice. <laughs> what the fuck? That was glorious. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so let's what say. What are you hanging out with? Right, so let's say that you're attacked by a man with a pineapple. Your Leave the Institute. Your best option is to pull the lever, releasing the anvil. <laughs> Man come at you with gun, pull lever to the Rancor pit. <laughs> let's say, let's say just for a moment, a madman comes at you, attacking you with strawberries, the most deadly of fruit. What you need to do then <laughs> is pull is the lever to the Rancor pit. No. That's the best self defense no. I can think of. <laughs> nope. Yes. Wrong. Every Wrong, sir. Every situation ever. Wrong, sir. Some no, dude no, no. tries to mug you in the alleyway. Pull the lever to the Rancor pit. <laughs> Someone attacks you with the most deadly fruit of all. Someone attacks the you strawberry. on the plane. Pull the lever to the Rancor pit. <laughs> the strawberry. What you need to do is open the box with the bloodthirsty tiger. The shark comes at you in the ocean. Pull the lever to the rancor pit. <laughs> uh, nuke goes off. Pull the lever to the rancor pit. <laughs> this is right. World War Three. Pull the lever. Pit. Rancor. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ghost hunters want to check for ghosts in your house? Boom! Lever! Rancor pit! <laughs> no more ghosts! No more hunters! I really like no that No more show. house! No more house! <laughs> Are, are you sure that's what we want to go with? That's the best fucking self-defense move I can think of. Pull the lever, <laughs> rancor pit. That's right. Oh my god. As soon as you said anvil, I was like, wait, if you've already got shit prepared, <laughs> rancor pit all the way. <laughs> someone tries to steal, someone tries to break into your house. Guess what? Automated rancor pit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Uh, yes. My house is just gonna I was... be a giant <laughs> gate, a giant circular gate around my house instead of a moat. It's just a giant door that leads to a Rancor moat. Oh shit, my time is almost up. Apparently, I've been on a time limit for this the entire time, these last couple episodes. And I read it out loud and didn't realize it. Here's the last guy. You, take your... Take your thing. Take your script. Do we make it in time? I voice the director. Where is he? Uh, looks like you passed out all the scripts. Find you. Come back. Cool. I guess I should go back now. He claims I'm in, I'm safe now. That's cool. Did we make it in time? Is that it? Shit! I ran into a guy. I didn't click the button at the right moment. 
Fuck! Alright, so we gotta get back to the director. That's our that's our new task. Rancor pit. Yeah. Really? Okay. I think you're just jealous of the fact that, you know, you came up with it. I don't need a gun. <laughs> I just have a lever that leads to the Rancor pit. <laughs> oh. Wherever I'm at, there's just a floating lever just two feet to my right that I can just pull. And whoever I dislike just instantly, whoosh! Rancor pit. Got it. Yeah. Until a Skywalker comes. Ah. Uh, you know, when those Skywalkers come, everyone goes crazy. <laughs> Why is everyone always coming in these shows? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Why, is, why doesn't everyone just stop? Just stop. This is the same item I tried to pick up before, <laughs> and I couldn't. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Exact... Yeah, it's it's the exact item. I know. So we're going to we're gonna talk to this here director dude. What do you want, director dude? With your cherry blossom overcoat. Yeah, I did it with the scripts. Good job. Uh, you can listen to that big guy's live show. I don't know what it is, but his technique is really something. Give me your soccer cool. ball. I want your cool. soccer ball. I can go watch a live show now. Yay! Path leading the next area has opened. Good job. Uh, it's not every decade you get to see a superstar. Go for it. Don't cause any trouble. Okay, who's hungry? Uh, me? You got some sneaks? I would like some sneaks. You received a topic from Bitch Face. I did. I'm receiving text messages all over the place. You just I need... got gang raped when because you looked at was... your phone. I was, I was looking at my map, getting some GPS so I could find uh, a, a Pikachu, and I got attacked by these mirages. A Pikachu. That's right. <laughs> Pikachu. So I keep getting, as I keep attacking these things, like session attacks, I get more and more items. See, look at that. Hold up. And, okay, so it's any, the third one and up, I get freaking free items for it. That's cool. I was unaware of that fact. A hellish doll. I, I love hellish dolls. They're kind of hellish. So I'm gonna There's run. A fucking crabby. A crabby? What? Psh, 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 psh. Why is there a crabby? Uh, well, we do live by a river. Like a very, I'm very, not near a, a very river. big, a very, very big river. I'm not near a river. One of the biggest. Hey. Oh, cool. You did want the big knights. Awesome. I just hadn't fought enough of them yet. You got a treasure key. Yay, ditch the deadbeats. Yeah, that's an achievement. I feel bad now. Cool. I keep pressing wrong button. Awesome! So, uh, with that, guys, hey, that's the end of the episode. Uh, we're gonna go f heal up, and then next episode, we're gonna fight the boss. How's next that sound? Episode. Next episode. Willy, 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 wah! Till next time. Till next time, folks. Uh, don't jerk off too much. Bye. That's not a tip you should be given out. Oh, jerk off more. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>